dear students welcome back to the lecture series of icc 9th maths we started the chapter indices from aris agarwal this is our fifth video in the previous videos we have completed the sum still question number 17 today i'm going to start from question number 18 my name is arpita banerji and you are watching arpita classes let's start so question number 18 is a to the power minus 1 upon a to the power minus 1 plus b to the power minus 1 plus a to the power minus 1 upon a to the power minus 1 minus b to the power minus 1 equal to 2b square divided by b square minus a square. So this is a proof sum. Let us take the left hand side first. a to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 upon a. Denominator a to the power minus 1 is 1 upon a plus 1 upon b. There is a plus in between. Again a to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 upon a divided by 1 upon a minus 1 upon b. Now we will keep the numerator as it is and we will take LCM at the denominator which is ab. So here we get b plus a. There is a plus sign in between. Again the numerator is same here. Take LCM the denominator becomes AB, the LCM becomes AB and we have, achha, this I have written BA, anyways BA and AB is same but still I am writing AB. So now here we get B minus A. <coughs> now we will simply apply the rule of division that is we will write the numerator as it is, we will put a multiplication sign in place of division and then we will reverse the denominator. So denominator AB will go up and B plus A will be here. There is a plus sign between, same thing we will do for the second part also. 1 upon A, there is a multiplication sign, AB goes up and B minus A is here. So here we can see A and A, we can cancel it out or if you want you can take the property of denominator, uh, property of uh, indices that is A, the bases are same, the powers can be subtracted. Let us use the property of indices. So we will write here A to the power 1 minus 1. Because here also the power is 1, here also the power is 1. And they are in division form. So 1 minus 1 into B upon B plus A. There is a plus sign in between. Same thing will happen here also. A to the power 1 and A to the power 1. They are in division form. So we will write A to the power 1 minus 1 into B divided by B <coughs> minus A. <coughs> Sorry. So this is a to the power 1 minus 1 is a to the power 0 into b upon b plus a plus here also, oh, I have written a to the minus b. This is 1 minus 1. So here a to the power 1 minus 1 is again a to the power 0 into b divided by b minus a. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So we will write it here 1 into b upon b plus a plus 1 into b upon b minus a. So from this term we get only b upon b plus a. 1 into anything is that. So b upon b plus a and here we get b upon b minus a. So the LCM is here b plus a into b minus a. So in the numerator we get b into b minus a plus b into b plus a. So here we get b square minus ab plus b square plus ab and down we have a formula you can see here it is a plus b into a minus b. So it will be a square minus b square. Here our a is b and our a is a. Uh, a is a b and b is a. So b square minus a square. Your AB and AB gets cancelled. So finally we get 2B square divided by, finally we get 2B square divided by B square minus A square. Now look at your right hand side. This is your right hand side. So that's good. Let's start with the next question. Question number 21. A to the power minus, this we have to prove first. I am taking the left hand side. A to the power minus 1, I am writing as 1 upon A into B it is. Then this is 1 upon B into C and this is 
1 upon c into a. So this is ab upon a under root. This is sorry, this is b upon a. This is b upon a. b upon a. This will be c upon b into this will be a upon c. Now since everything is under root, we can just do under root of this is c. This is c. C upon b. Yeah, so this will be b c a divided by a b c. a b c and b c a is same thing. So it is 1. Cancelled out root over of 1 that is equal to 1 which is our right hand side. Let's start with the next sum. So the 22nd sum is if 9 to the power n into 3 square into 3 to the power n minus 27 to the power n divided by 3 to the power 3 m into 2 to the power q is equal to 3 to the power minus 3. Prove that n minus n is equal to 1. So let us take the left hand side. 9 to the power n I write as 3 square whole to the power n. This is 3 square 3 to the power n minus 27 is 3 to the power 3 whole to the power n divided by 3 to the power 3m into 2q and that is, is equal to 1 upon 3q. I made the indices positive over there. So this is this is 3 to the power 2n into 3 square into 3 to the power n minus 3 to the power 3n. <coughs> so that is 3 to, divided by 3 to the power 3n into 2q is equal to 1 upon 3q. Now 2n plus 2 plus n. So this is 2n plus n is 3n. So this we can write as 3 to the power 3n into 3 square minus 3 to the power 3n divided by 3 to the power 3n into 2q that is, is equal to 1 upon 3q. We can take 3 to the power 3n common from the numerator. So if I take 3 to the power 3n common this will be 3 square minus 1 nothing is there means 1 divided by 3 to the power 3m into 2q that is, is equal to 1 upon 3q. Now this is coming 3 to the power 3m this is 3 square that is 9 minus 1 and this is 3 to the power 3m into 2q is equal to 1 upon 3q. So 9 minus 1 is 8 so we can write 3 to the power 3m into 8 that 8 can be written as 2q. Why? Because in the denominator we have 2q. So I wrote it this way is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power 3. Let me erase this part. Okay. So now this is 3 to the power 3n minus 3n. I took these two together. Bases are same. So powers can be subtracted into 2 to the power 3 minus 3. Same thing is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power 3. So now this is 3 to the power 3 n minus 3 n into this is 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power q. Right? So this is 3 to the power 3 n minus 3 n. This is 1 is equal to I will take it up only because if I take it up the bases are same. Powers we can equate. So we can write 3 n minus 3 n is equal to minus 3. Take 3 common n minus n is equal to minus 3. So from here we are getting n minus n is equal to minus 1. 3 goes that side and therefore m minus n is equal to 1. I just multiplied everything by minus 1. So we get m minus n is equal to 1 and that is what we had to prove. Question number 23, 2, 1, 1, 6, 8 is equal to x to the power 4 into y to the power 4 into z square. We need to find out the values of x, y, z. So for this, we will do the prime factorization of 2, 1, 1, 6, 8. We will start from 2, 2, 1, 0, 5, 
8, 4. Again divide by 2, 5, 2, 9, 2. Divide by 2, 2, 6, 4, 6. Divide by 2, 1, 3, 2, 3. Now divide by 3. 3, 4, 4, 1. Again 3, 3, 1, 3, 4, 3, 7. Again 3, 3, 4, 3, 9. Then 7, 7 and 7, 1. So we did the prime factorization. So we are seeing that 2, 1, 1, 6, 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7. We'll write it in the exponential form. So we get 2 raised to 4, 3 raised to q and 7 raised to 2. Now we'll compare with this. We can see 2 raised to 4, it is x to the power 4. So comparing with, you just have to write comparing with 2, 1, 1, 6, 8 is equal to x to the power 4 y to the power cube and z to the power 2, we get x is equal to, we have to find out x, y, z, x to the power 4, so it is 2 to the power 4, so x is equal to 2, y is equal to, y to the power cube, it is 3 to the power cube, so y is equal to 3, and z to the power square, and here it is 7 to the power square, so z is equal to 7. So this is the answer for x, y and z. Let us to the next question. The next question is 24th. 1960. If, if 1960 is 2 to the power A into 5 to the power B into 7 to the power C, find the values of A, B and C. It is the same question actually, same type. We need to find out the prime factors of 1960, 1960, 2, 9, 8, 0, 2, 9, 8, 0, 2, 4, 9, 0, 2, 2, 4, 5, then 3, it doesn't go by 3, it goes by 5 now. So, it is 5, 4, 9 and then 7, 7, 7, 1. So we can see 1960 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 into 7. Write in the exponential form 2 q 5 to the power nothing means 1 and 7 square. Now comparing with this, we can easily see that it is 2 to the power a, 2 to the power 3. So a to the power 3, 5 to the power b, 5 to the power 1. So b to the power b is equal to 1. 7 to the power c, 7 to the power 2, so c is equal to 2. So these are the values for a, b and c. The same question is further extended. They are saying hence calculate 2 to the power a, 5 minus a, 5 to the power minus c and 7 to the power b. So it is 2 to the power minus a into 5 to the power minus c into 7 to the power b. Let us write down the uh, values 2 to the power minus 3 it is 5 to the power minus 2 and 7 to the power 1. So 2 cube, 2 to the power minus 3 is 2 cube, 1 upon 2 cube, 5 to the power minus 2 is 1 upon 5 square and uh, it is 7. So it will be 7 divided by 2 cube is 8 and 5 square is 25. So finally it is 7 divided by 200. So the answer for this question is 7 upon 200. So in today's video, we have completed till question number 24. There are a few more questions, so we are going to complete it in the next video. Thank you so much. If you find these videos are beneficial to you, please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Stay tuned.